Last week on The Dive Shop, Deem and the team worked hard on fixing the path and did a great job mixing more than two and a half tonnes of concrete. Nora has recovered from her ear infection and was delighted to be back in the water. Alex scaled the roof and showed us the importance of a clean roof for water management, whilst Gary completed a review of the Garmin Descent Mark II, which we think he liked. Finally, we all let our hair down with a Friday night session at Frog's Bar. This week on The Dive Shop, Nora dives with frogs. Alex has new merch. Dean makes plans for the boat haul. Gary reviews a BCD. And Nora dives without frogs. So last week, our friends from Frogs Dive Karaoke in Tierra Bay called us. Uh, me and Mark volunteered to go diving with them last week on their boat Bebop. So we got the opportunity to go with them and Wesley was the skipper, so we had a lot of fun with them. Muriel is a massive fan of frogfish, so I actually wasn't ready, wasn't prepared to see how excited she got on the water series. It was so cute. I just heard the squealing, like, mm, and, the, and the signal for frogfish doing this on the water all the time was just awesome. And Patrick took really, really good pictures of him. So yeah, it was a really good dive. And we have been seeing this frogfish for the past, I don't know, two months in the same sponge, in the same dive site in Maguya Garden. So she was very, very excited and eager to actually go see it and find it because we've been posting videos and pictures about it and it's just amazing and so, so beautiful. dive in Mabuya Garden. It's always nice relaxing dives. Uh, the conditions were perfect. It was a little bit murky the visibility but we still managed to have maybe 20 meters or so. Um, very light current, no problem to go back to the boat and the surface was just awesome. merchandise and equipment to sell in our shop down here can be a real challenge. Um, it's partly driven by our remote island location. And the multitude of steps that we have to go through to be able to get shipments down here. So partly because of the cost of the shipping and um, the fairly high import duties and taxes which are applied locally. Um, but we know how much divers and travelers um, like to buy souvenirs and t-shirts when they travel so um, we do get some nice things down here and in um, particular just recently we've um, launched a new women's um, lineup um, in t-shirts uh, from a Florida brand called the Filthy Mermaid and um, they're a small startup and um, they have some really 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 nice products um, so we've had a few of their t-shirts before and they're sold out super quickly um, pre-covid and um, so we've got uh, um, a lot more of them now 
and um, so we've managed to get those this week and we are um, very very pleased with what we've got so now we've restocked on our filthy mermaid uh, women's um, t-shirts and this and I'm thinking I may even have to get one or two of those for myself Paris, we will watch the flames burn all and on the mountainside. Desolation comes upon the sky. Now I see fire inside the mountain. I see fire. So, this week, boat cleaning and preparing the boat for haul, basically. So, when I say boat cleaning, normal job on the boat meaning washing down of the deck cleaning of the benches and obeying covid protocols <sighs> hassle but yeah which is normal and which i'm used to as well but the biggest thing for me is haul cleaning because since we haven't got any time to really haul the boat which means the hauls was kind of looking a, a wee bit bad. So me and Gary got a day, we jumped in, cleaned the hauls, which was not the best job, you know. It gets a bit itchy when you start cleaning, but just don't go there. But yeah. Jumped in to clean the halls, which wasn't too bad. Me one hall, Gary one hall. Only took like maybe half an hour to an hour, probably. So quick and fast, nice and clean. I've seen that we have a couple of things underneath the boat. No big job, no big set of grinding or sanding, just maybe a little sanding. And I'll just maybe put some micro balloon on that. I'm not gonna try to reclot because I feel like it's it's not that bad, you know. So for me, I'm just checking the boat to see what we really have to do and how long do we really need at the hard as well or in the yard, you know. So I'm just going over the boat, checking it ups and downs, see what we really have to do, get done, and determine. What we do from there and me, uh, me and Gary is having a chat about how long do we want to be in, in the hard as well because we don't want to stay at the hard too long whereas if we get little any divers that we can go out you know at the same time we want business but yeah so like I said a couple of things on the halls maybe fix the back step redo the anti-fouling repaint repaint the deck sand and grind which is easy, which we're used to, I'm used to, Gary's used to, it's more fun. Is that a good way to end? No, that's fine. <laughs> Let's see what that looks like. going crazy this last couple of weeks doing product reviews and I've forgotten what I'm going to say already and I can't see it because there's a light in my face. <laughs> So I've been going crazy this past couple of weeks doing some product testing and this week I've been having a look at a BCD by a small European brand called Xdeep and it's their Xdeep Ghost Deluxe BCD. Um, it's a very, very lightweight backplate and wing style BCD weighing in at around 2.2 kilos. Um, and I've got to admit that it's one of the prettiest backplates uh, I've ever seen. Now tell me, is this just not the blingest backplate ever, huh? Um, this one has also been lent to me by Mark um, and I could not turn down the opportunity to have a good look at this one. So we've put the BCD through its paces this week. We've done some fake training in confined water. We've also done some messing around on the surface just to see how it works. And we've also gone out and done a fair bit of diving too. I also had a look at how we adjust the rig using the quick adjusters and uh, moving some of the sliders, which really, really impressed Mark. I'll put a link to the full review down below uh, in the comments section. Um, take a quick look, um, but as a quick heads up, 
I think it's a good one. Um, I'm really impressed with it as a, as a lightweight travel BCD. Um, I have been really impressed with Xdeep's products in the past. I was a massive fan of the Xdeep Stealth when that first came out. That was the first CE approved uh, side mount rig uh, way back in 2011. Um, and they're really, really good eye for detail quality products. Um, and I'm really, really happy that I managed to get my hands on, even if it was only for a week, to one of their new Ghost BCDs. Anyway, check out the review, check out the video, let us know what you think. Well, guess what? I got to dive Sisters Rocks again on Friday, yay! I choose this place because it's seriously amazing. Uh, it, the conditions were great that day. We had two fun divers and also Mark, and they wanted to see something amazing and wanted to see how good Karyaku is here. Um, so I couldn't think of a better place, to be honest. I uh, got to choose wherever I want to go, and yeah, that was my first choice, of course. Uh, it's usually a really good time at this year because it's calm and the visit is excellent. And although the weather and the water is still very warm, uh, I'm back in my wetsuit. Yeah, kind of getting cold lately. But anyway, the water has stayed uh, actually quite warm throughout these months. So we've been seeing a lot more coral bleaching lately. And we've been monitoring this for a few weeks now. So we might do a review on that in a couple of weeks time. But today, well, the reef was just so pretty, full of fish, so alive. We saw loads of tropical fish, a turtle, a ray, uh, ugh, loads of North Sharks, seriously lost count. And yeah, Holy Trinity and more.